Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Chromecast Audio, which is a small disc that looks sort of like a record, and that's because it's all about audio. You can plug it into pretty much any speaker to stream internet audio to that speaker, be it uh, music, podcasts, internet radio, etc. It sells for about $35, and it's one of two updates to the Chromecast platform that came out in 2015. The original Chromecast came out in 2013, and it was a device with a little HDMI connector on one end, also sold for $35. And the idea with this model was that you plug it into a TV and you can use it to stream internet video to that television. Chromecast uh, 2015 editions, there's an updated version with better Wi-Fi and a slightly faster processor, and this has almost identical hardware, but instead of this HDMI connector, it has audio uh, ports. It basically just has uh, two ports. You've got on one end the 3.5 millimeter or headphone size jack, and on the other you've got, for power, a micro USB cable. It uh, comes with a five, inch, uh, five foot or so uh, USB cable, USB adapter, and a very tiny audio adapter. You can use it not just with speakers that have 3.5 millimeter inputs, though it'll also work with RCA or optical input. You just need to buy a separate adapter. Now at $35, it's the same price as the video version, and that might seem a little bit weird at first because it kind of does less, it does just audio, whereas you can do audio and video with the other version, but it is really one of the most affordable ways to take some high quality speakers that you may already have and turn them into internet connected speakers. Uh, the, some other internet connected speaker systems that, uh, that are on the market can cost hundreds of dollars, this sells for $35. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and uh, show you how it works. And for the purposes of this test, I'm going to actually use this Bluetooth speaker, but it also has an audio input. This is a uh, UE Boom or UE Mini Boom speaker, which uh, offers pretty good audio for a compact device. So let's go ahead and take the audio cable, plug it in. And then on the Chromecast, there's a little status LED here and a little reset button over here. So as I plug it in, you'll notice that the uh, status LED is going to turn orange. And after a moment, it should turn white. And when it does that, you know it's ready to use. There's a couple of other indicators that you'll get. Sometimes it'll flash and it'll alert you to problems. So now it's basically booted up, it's ready to go. Uh, I just wanted to hold it there while I was showing it to you, but that's how quickly it boots. So you could leave it plugged in, turned on all the time because it is a low power device, um, but it really doesn't take that long to start up. So how do you control it? With your phone. So I've got, uh, my Nexus 5 over here, and I'm going to go ahead and fire up the Chromecast app, which is what you would normally use to set up the device. Now, uh, in, in this case, I've actually already set it up, so you can see that it's connected to the Lilliputing yeah, Chromecast audio device, but uh, basically you would plug it in, turn it on, fire up the Chromecast app on your mobile device. It works with iOS and Android, and it'll search for a local Chromecast and let you give it a name connected to your Wi-Fi network. And then when you start streaming music, it doesn't necessarily stream from your phone. It streams straight from the internet while you use your phone as a sort of remote control. There are some apps that'll let you stream music from your phone, but the advantage is to doing it uh, straight over the internet to the Chromecast is that um, you can turn off your phone, you can uh, completely power it down, you can uh, not have to worry about the battery draining, etc. And if audio comes into your phone, it won't play over the speaker the way it would with a Bluetooth speaker. So if you get notifications, they don't stop the music from playing. Now, the, the mobile app uh, also has a couple of other features. You can take a look at lilliputing.com where you've got uh, screenshots of what that setup process looks like. Here, we can see that it already has identified apps that are installed on my phone that work with Chromecast Audio. That includes uh, Google Play Music, Shuttle Music Player, Spotify, Songza, the NPR One app, and BeyondPod, which is a podcast manager. And if I wanted to find other applications, uh, I can go to Get Apps, where it'll show me that Pandora, Rhapsody, 7Digital, and others also work. And for uh, applications that are not officially supported, you can actually sort of use the equivalent of a screen mirroring kind of uh, feature that lets you basically take any audio that's playing on your device and scream it to the Chromecast as well. So um, let's just take a quick look at how it works. So I've got Google Play Music open here, and I'm just going to start playing some sound. Actually, first I'm going to connect to the Chromecast. So I just tap the little cast button, say I want to cast to that device and then hit play.
and in a perfect world it would work. So I can stop casting and play it on my phone and you'll hear the difference. So that's that's sort of how it works with Google Play Music. Now, if I wanted to exit Google Pl or uh, stop casting, I just hit the button and hit stop. Now, if I wanted to use an app like YouTube that doesn't actually support uh, Chromecast audio streaming, I could still do it, but it's going to be a little bit different. So this time, what I'm going to do is pull down from the top, and I'm going to hit the cast button from the quick settings panel. Connect, and you can turn off those sounds if you don't like the way they sound. And now, anything that I play on the screen should come through. Assuming the speaker doesn't decide to reboot. Best Nexus phone to date. It's got great build quality, an excellent camera, the Nexus imprint fingerprint sensor, a fast processor, and of course it ships with the latest version of Android, which is so, Android 6. So that works pretty well, but this time the audio is routing through the phone and from the phone to the speaker, and that means that if I wanted to listen to YouTube uh, audio while I was doing something else, I can't. Oh, as of the time of the release. Uh, but there's a couple of things. Close the app, it goes away. Uh, if I turned off the screen, it would go away. So that's a limitation when you're using applications that don't technically support it. Um, but it does it does work for basically apps that would be able to stream in the background. So if you had any apps that didn't officially support Chromecast audio, but which do stream audio in the background, then uh, then this would work. But basically the, the screen mirroring feature is a little bit less versatile. So overall, you know, I think I'm pretty impressed with what you can do with this little $35 adapter, but, you know, I've got this Bluetooth speaker, and it works pretty well for most of what I need, uh, which is I basically just leave it connected in my kitchen. When I'm cooking, I can listen to the radio, I can listen to music, I can do other things using my phone as a controller, and since I'm not too far from a uh, wall outlet, I can just plug in my phone if I wanted to plug in my phone, I don't have to worry too much about the battery power. But what is kind of nice about the Bluetooth speaker that I have is I can pick it up and carry it around, because it has a battery in it. The Chromecast Audio, on the other hand, is gonna have to stick to the wall. I mean, it's small, it's light, it's easy to move around, but it does need to be plugged in. So I don't know that I'm exactly the right target audience for this device, but if you've got hi-fi audio speakers, you've got a stereo system that you might have had for years and you don't want to replace it with lower quality or super expensive speakers, Chromecast Audio can basically take your existing stereo setup and get it online. And, uh, and I think that's, that's kind of a nice little feature. In the future, Google also plans to roll out multi-room support. So right now I could get you know, five of these, put them in five different rooms in the house, connect them to five different speakers. And then on my phone, I can say, I want to cast to the living room. I want to cast to the bedroom. I want to cast to the shower, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. But in the future, you could actually cast to multiple devices. Now that's an update that's expected to come out by the end of 2015, it's not currently available. Um, but then for 35 bucks a pop, you could basically get each room in your house online and synchronize. So you could play, play the same music in multiple rooms uh, for having a party, for sort of just, you know, doing whatever it is that you wanted to do. Um, so again, that's not necessarily a feature that I personally need. I'm usually only in one room at a time. Um, and I'm rarely in a situation where I need to be playing music in multiple rooms. But I know that's something that uh, again, right now, if you wanted to buy internet-connected speakers with multi-room support, you'd be spending hundreds of dollars, uh, whereas if you have speakers already, this lets you spend dozens of dollars instead. So that's the Chromecast Audio. It's one of two new Chromecast devices available for $35, released by Google in 2015. You can find more details uh, about how it works, uh, more photographs, pictures of the setup process at lilliputing.com. It's a nice little device. It's not necessarily going to have as wide an appeal, I think, as the original Chromecast or the new Chromecast video, because, uh, you know, everybody 
can stream YouTube or Netflix or Hulu or other things to their TV with a Chromecast video, whereas the uh, number of people I think who are going to want to do high quality internet audio streaming might be a, it might be a little bit more of a niche audience. Um, but I do think that it is a nice device that delivers exactly on the promise uh, that Google made, which is that it makes it simple and easy to stream all sorts of audio to pretty much any speaker. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and the Chromecast Audio.